What are you, what are you doing? I'm just trying to make you more comfy. How do you feel? Don't, don't, don't touch me. Would you relax? I don't have cooties. I think your fever's breaking. You're gonna live. You can thank me as soon as you let go of my arm. Did the Fairfax and Mista mm -hmm. witness the jackal's collapse? Oh, how? Oh, what more humiliation piled on somebody? Why? 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 Why is Stone Cold's couch on the haunted hey, star? Hey, hey, you look at me. You're at home, okay? Just, just try to, try to relax. Rest right now. Uh, yeah, he's conscious, but I think he might be delirious. I just did. It's 102. Okay, thanks. What would they say? Same thing they said with you. Acetaminophen, rest, fluids. Hey, look, you just barely recovered yourself. Why don't you go upstairs and lie down? I can no, take care of fine. Fine. No, Stone Cold is not fine. He struggles daily with terrible conflict. Oedipal in nature. It is the most basic of conflicts, the foundation of dynastic politics, the young king must inevitably replace the old one as one waxes, the other wanes, and despite sentiment, loyalty, and natural reticence, the king must die. Long live the king. It is time for Stone Cold to play his part in the epic struggle. Your fever is spiky. You, you, you're talking crazy right now. I, you know what? I got this from here, okay? No, you know, if I stuck around and took care of you, I'm not going to abandon a sweetheart like Spinelli. No, go, go easy on Stone Cold. He is in terrible turmoil. Is that right? Stone Cold struggles daily with the dire reality of an inevitable destiny. You must come to loggerheads with your true father. Spinelli, my, my father's dead. Oh, your biological father? The late and deeply lamented Dr. Allen, but in every other way, the parental role in Stone Cold's life has been Mr. Sir. Who's Mr. Sir? Mr. Corinto, sir. Spinelli. Mr. Corinto, sir, is, is Stone Cold's master, in a way, at whose feet the young Jason Morgan learned the ways, the methods, the ethics of mob life, and Stone Cold learned his lessons well, and is now, in the fullness of time, stepped in to wear the mantle, but power is insidious, and Mr. Sir is held in its sway. He will wish to command again. Okay, you know what? You need to rest. You need to be forewarned, my friend and master, for it will come to be. Mr. Sir will die, and by your hand, You must somehow subvert your fate. Allow me to be your Tiresias, your blind talk, prophet, talk as it were. this in the morning. Oh, okay. Why are you still here? Go! The Reverend Eric Vixen must stay. Hot, sweetie, don't work yourself up. I'm not going anywhere. Okay, no, your instincts will tell you to remain loyal to Mr. Sir. To, to back him no matter, no matter what, but that would be a, a mistake. You must find it in your stone and coldness to stand up to Mr. Sir, or else risk being the instrument you're, of his destruction. You're not making any sense. I understand it perfectly. Mr. Corinthus, Sir craves retribution for the physical devastation of little Michael, but not from another, from himself. He will use you to gain what he desires. He will come back to the business and force your hand, but do not acquiesce. Please stand up to okay. Mr. Okay, what, whatever. I'll stand up to Sonny. Just, just lie down and get some rest. You realize everything he just said is true. Your young friend is not only sick smart, he's also very perceptive, especially about the weird dynamic between him and Sonny. You're not one to talk about weird dynamics. He's babbling, he's got a fever. He was dead on. Sonny blames himself for what happened to Michael. He thinks he deserves to be punished. So he gives away the business that he spent his entire life building, just hands it over to you? That's not enough pain for Sonny. He's going to convince himself that he wants it back, that he deserves it. You took it from him. So he will force your hand. He will get himself all worked up into a good mat, and then he'll make a run for you. And he will maneuver himself into a situation where you're forced to kill him, saving himself the pain and the mess. And then finally, the punishment fits the crime. I don't deal in made-up situations. You don't read a lot of Greek tragedies, do you? This couldn't be more Oedipal unless you slept with your mother and gouged her eyes out. Are you delirious? Okay, when everything that Spinelli just predicted comes true, I will try really hard not to remind you that you were warned. Oh. 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 Oh.
move. It's time to get him to a hospital. Where is it? Is it 24 hours? The virus was only contagious for the first two to four hours. Why should both be past it? What about Spinelli? He's not contagious. And his fever is in the danger zone. And he's not responding to medications. We need to get into the ER stat. He's gonna be fine. Uh, we got them here in time. He's he's gonna be fine. You don't, you don't know that. Sometimes the worst really happens. General Hospital. Spinelli, the only guy I've met that's not trying to sleep with me or kill me. Which way are you looking? Weekdays on.